Hey, it's me, Hall Brennan, aka the most handsome man in Ireland, uh, self proclaimed, of course. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rank your images on Google with a step by step, over the shoulder tutorial. Um, if you've seen my posts, you, you'll see that I'm obviously ranking as the, the best looking guy in Ireland, the most handsome man in Ireland, you know, alongside the likes of Colin Farrell, Michael Fassbender, a couple of other um, you know, guys that deserve to be there. Um, obviously I've created that post for a bit of crack and to kind of showcase my skills but you know there's a ton of real world uses for um, ranking your images on, on, on Google so you know if you happen to have an e-commerce store for example if you rank your images on Google the images often tend to display at the top of the page so even if your landing page or your product page isn't ranking on you know page one or if it is ranking on page one but at the bottom and um, ranking the image can be a great way to drive traffic to the, to the page because it's often shown above the search results as well as that you could rank your um, you know the images that are on your blog to drive content to your blog as well uh, drive traffic to your blog sorry so you know I'm not gonna waffle on about it here let's go ahead and dive into the over the shoulder video so I can show you exactly how to do it so uh, let's dive into the over the shoulder tutorial um, if you haven't already googled this then go ahead and check it out so as you can see here um, I've googled best looking guy in Ireland my post is first but then more importantly my images are ranking one two three and four so I'm apparently the first second third and fourth best looking guy in Ireland um, also when you check keywords like most handsome man in Ireland here I am next to Colin Farrell and uh, Michael Fassbender so like as you can see here the um, the, the images featured snippet is showing at the top of the page you know which means that it will probably drive a lot of traffic to the post because it's at the top of the page um, now you know obviously you can see here I'm ranking in first position for, for both of those keywords in terms of my posts, but oftentimes you can rank in the images and in the image featured snippet without being first position at all. Um, I also wanted to give a quick shout out to um, James, James Dooley. So uh, James was part of the inspiration for, for my post. He actually uh, ranked himself as the hottest guard in Manchester a while back. So you can see James ranking in the, uh, the featured snippet and also uh, within Google images. So uh, that's it, you know, it's pretty hilarious actually. So that, that was pretty good inspiration for my post. Um, but yeah, as I said in the in the intro, there's a lot of real world uses for this. So for example, if you take an e-commerce store, um, in this case, I'm just looking at uh, the best CBD oil. So when you Google best CBD oil, you see there's a lot of kind of reviews and stuff like that. Um, but you know, when you go and look here, you've got a featured snippet, you know, that's bullet pointing the best ones, but you've also got an image here. And that image is from ravereviews.org, which isn't the featured snippet here and isn't here. So I don't know even know if they're on the first page. I don't think, oh yeah, so they're well down the first page, you know, but with that image, they could steal a lot of clicks um, through to, to, to their site, you know. Um, another good example here would be Air Max Trainers. So obviously you can see there's a lot of ads for that, you know. And you can see Sports Director ranking first for it. And Nike second, uh, well, first and second Nike then third and shoe but when you look at the uh, google images you can see here foot asylum are actually the first um image for for like air max trainers so like they're not even on the first page i don't think yeah they're not on the first page but they can steal a lot of traffic there through to their site um because they've ranked the image you know obviously the other guys are ranking so jd sports and uh, nike uh sports direct so like you can see here you know jd Sports Direct, Nike, um, they're all ranking. But like, you know, it, it's a really good way to, to get traffic to your to your e-commerce landing page and possibly get sales. Um, I also mentioned you can use it for ranking blog content and driving traffic to your blogs. So for example, here you can see um, when I Google color combinations, um, my friends at Design Wizard are, you know, ranking pretty well in the search search results, but they're also ranking Google images. So you can see they've ranked this image, you can see they've ranked this image. So even if they, this post was to slip down, they'd get a lot of the traffic coming through to their site uh, by ranking in Google images, you know? So uh, they're just some of the real world examples. Let's go ahead and jump into how you can, can actually do it yourself. So what you're gonna to want to do is place the image around text that you want to rank for you know so i've got a post here and i've written it and i've, I've optimized it well so you know there's a good there's a, a good heading one some h2s it's broken up into paragraphs and if you read the text i'm talking about how how fucking handsome i am basically and um, but obviously you know i'm not being too nice to myself either at the same time so can't get too cocky when you become ireland's most handsome man 
Um, so if we take this one as an example, the most handsome man in Ireland is the heading here, and I've written this paragraph. So when you bring it back and you look at this image, you can see that you know this is the one that's ranking for the most handsome man in Ireland. So I, I've placed the image uh, near text that I am trying to rank for, for example. So that's step one, okay? Well, actually, sorry, that's not step one. Step one is to go and check to see if there's actually images ranking for the keyword you want to show up for. So if you go and look for something like, um, I don't know, let me see something, uh, plumber Boston. So if I want to rank for this keyword plumber in Boston, I can see there isn't any images ranking for this at all, you know? So that the first step really is to go and make sure that you know the keyword you want to rank for is actually displaying the Google Images featured snippet, right? So go and identify those keywords first of all, then come back and get to this step. So you will then go ahead and write your text. So you know, in the case of uh, the Air Max um, trainers, you know, they've obviously you know got text. They haven't had to write a whole huge post or anything like that. They've got a um, a page, you know, with, you know, headings like, like Air Max, and they've got it written out like that. In my case, obviously, I've gone and wrote a whole post about it. You don't necessarily have to do that. So if it's a product page, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, but, you know, in my case, obviously, I have because I, I've wanted to rank just the images. So I've put the image in next to text that I want to rank for a variance of it. So that's step one. So step two then is to um, name the file name with a keyword. So if, for example, I'll just show you here what it actually is in this case. So um, I'm not a I'm not a developer. I'm not a coder. I don't know how to code, but I know enough to kind of look at stuff like this. So the the file name of this when I saved was most handsome man in Ireland .png. So let's say if I wanted to, so I took this photo earlier. Um, what is it? Uh, felt cute. Might delete later. Um, but yeah, so no, let's say I wanted to go ahead and add this into the post, right? What I would do is I would rename it and it, you know, obviously I'm trying to rank this. So, uh, still the most handsome in Ireland, right? So I've, I've, um, I've named this file with the keyword you can see here. Still the most handsome man, or handsome man in Ireland, or it's a variant as well. So either the keyword or a variant as the the file name, right? You're also going to want to change the uh, alternative text. So the alternative text is something that you um, add to an image. It's it's originally for the for the visually impaired community, and what it does is it um, to tell them what it is. If there's actually a really famous case going on at the moment, so. Beyonce has been sued by, um, I think it's like the Blind Association of America, some some association for blind people in America because her website doesn't use any alt text. Um, so for, you know, that's probably a good enough reason to use alt text anyway, but in this case, you're able to use it to, you know, rank your rank your uh, images. So the alt text of this image is Michal, is Michal Brennan, the most handsome man in Ireland. So you would want to uh, do the same. So like, let's say I want to go ahead and... Um, add that new image in there, or let's just edit this one. So here's my alternative text and the file name is obviously what I've saved beforehand. But if I wanted to add a new image, for example, I might go here and I might go add media. So I've already saved the file name. Um, let's just get to here. So I've already saved the file name as you can see. So then I will add it and the alt text might be, um, uh, let's go with something like, so now I've got my file name. You can see here, still the most handsome man in Ireland. And then the, uh, alt text was, this handsome. Um, so yeah, I can insert that into the post. Obviously I'm not going to in this case, but that's what I would. So I would insert it near the text that I'm trying to rank for. Um, so those are pretty straightforward steps. So you've got, you've got the text around it for the keyword you want to rank for. You're then going to name your file name with a keyword or a variant. And you're also going to add alternative text um, with a keyword or a variant. 
So then the next step is to drive some authority to the page. So um, you can do this by, by, by link building. So it, depending on the competition and depending on, you know, um, how hard a keyword it is, obviously you're going to need to drive a lot more authority to a page like this than you would to rank for Ireland's, you know, best looking man or whatever. Um, so like you could build external links or links from other websites. Um, so, you know, reach out to other websites and, and convince them to link to you. So you could do that in various ways. Um, but also internal links will drive authority as well. And that's what I've chosen to do here. So, um, I kind of just quickly hack this basically what I did was on my um on my menu I added a um a link directly to this as the SEO experiment. Now again I probably could have optimized that a little bit better and used, you know, keyword rich text so I could have uh, added something like handsome man experiment and probably would have driven even more authority. Um but in this case as well I've also added a link to the footer. So the link to the footer, the footer is on every single page. So pretty much every page on my website now links back to this post and that funnels any authority that's in my site, like you know, call it authority, call it link juice, call it page rank, whatever you want to call it. Um but that is pushing you know, authority towards this page on the site, which is, you know, then got it to rank and what's then getting the images to rank as well. If you want to as well, you could syndicate the images on, you know, um, image sharing websites like Flickr or, or Pinterest. Um, so you can go ahead and syndicate them and upload them to those sites, referencing the original image as the source. So, you know, for example, reference, if I uploaded this, I would reference this one as the source, um, with this link here. So smbclicks.com WP content uploads 2019, blah, blah, blah. So, and that's pretty much it. And after that, you just sit and wait. If your um, post isn't ranking, then you need to probably drive more authority to it. So like, you know, it took about three months for this to, to rank for me. Um, in the beginning, the page wasn't even indexed. So that's why I then went and took the step to drive a bit more authority to it by, by adding these internal links, you know, from the header menu and from the footer. Um, but after I did that, it got indexed and then probably within a couple of months, it started ranking, you know, so, um, a few of the images started to pop up like, you know, here and maybe, you know, for example, as well, it wasn't ranking in the, in the search results page, but it was ranking in the images. Um, but then it started to just continue to grow, you know, so like what, at that stage, then, you know, give it a couple of months, sit back and wait. Uh, if it's not happening, then you just would, um, try to drive more authority to it. So either with external links from other websites or, you know, finding other ways to internally link to the page. And that is pretty much it. So that is the uh, full step-by-step over the shoulder tutorial of how to rank your images on Google. Thanks.